Clash Royale changed its entire progression system and now has 50 levels. And Clash's old progression system took $5,000 to go from level one all the way to level 14. But today we're gonna see if we can go from level one all the way to level 50 before I run out of money, because spoiler alert, it costs a lot more to max out. But also we're gonna see if we can go from zero trophies to 5,000 trophies in only 12 hours by changing our deck in every arena. Let's get into this. First order of business was to make a new account. Welcome to Clash Royale. Then we named it BT50, cause we're going to level 50. Other than BTS. Next we beat the tutorial and got to our first arena, Goblin Stadium, which gave us our first deck. We hopped right into our first real game. Is this still a bot or is this a real person? This guy's name is Free Fire. Fortunately, I don't think we can one push him. We're just gonna let that giant go. We just want this three crown, man. So painful. Oh my gosh. Come on. We're struggling versus the bot. First game, that was not a great sign. <laughs> then after a few more wins, we got to the next arena. Or so we thought. Here's the moment of truth. Do we gain trophies? You get plus five. So they are forcing you to level up your cards. And you will not increase arena. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, that's a new new thing. It was also time to buy our first $100 of gems and start opening some chests to get the new cards, but it was a struggle. Okay, we need the Valkyrie Tombstone. <laughs> Arena 1 King's Chest. Let's see what we get. Bombers. A lot of goblins. Dude, we didn't get a, any new cards. We need the Valkyrie and a Tombstone. Dude, I've literally opened so many chests and wasted so much gems. I have 2,000 gems left, and I still have not found them. How is that possible? So we just pushed a bit to get the Valkyrie and Tombstone from the road, and now we are rocking a new deck, so we upgraded our cards and got not to level 4, not to level 5, 6, 7, 8. We got to level 9 already off that. Hit level 9. I feel like we're leveling up more, though. I have to temper my expectations. I think, like, level 9 is still old level 9. It's not. After we also hit level 10 from those upgrades which unlocked pass or else so we bought that with my creator code bt1 and you should too so don't go broke on these videos because spoiler alert i'm spending six grand this video before we go further here's a quick message from my game i absolutely love playing and today's swaggy channel sponsor stumble guys stumble guys is a fun and chaotic multiplayer game where you run jump and stumble and stumble and stumble some more through exciting elimination style matches with 31 other players it's all of the fun of getting through a deadly obstacle course without actually being on a deadly obstacle course and now the new update has made it even more exciting with the new hot wheels stumble pass oh, i love hot wheels with this pass you get access to the new hot wheels map where you can race around the track in style it's a ton of fun and adds a whole new level of chaos to the game another great feature they've added is the custom party feature this lets you customize your game experience by choosing which maps to play, how many rounds to play, and even playing with AI stumblers if you want. And this month we have a bunch of new skins and emotes to check out. Some of my favorites are the Retro Robo, Army Man, and Baby Doll Stumblers. We also have the Xmas Skull and Gingerface Mad Cookie emotes, but there is so, so much more that you can collect. Huge thank you to Stumble Guys for sponsoring me and making this entire video possible. Be sure to download the game using the link in the description down below and stumble your way to victory but now it's time to try our new over level deck miguel you're level three i'm level six i'm sorry sir a goblin hut this mini pack is gonna melt this giant like butter unfortunately we do not have arrows right now but doesn't matter we got levels this is the power of forcing me oh four goblins on the drop okay that's that's a buff but th this is the power of forcing me to switch my deck every arena we have to use weird cards like this but i'm all for it makes it quite interesting and fun we're just swarming right now he's got nothing well he's got arrows doesn't he swarming him with the amount of spam oh my gosh keep up the cycle i'm sorry miguel oh my goodness let's go and we get a magical chest not bad you get rewarded for gemming at this point we were just so over leveled versus the other players so we breezed through our games and hit barbarian bolt this time there was no struggle at all getting the new cards we made our new deck leveled it up and now we got to level 12. okay yeah, even though we are level 12 we still are king level six it's a gear in my brain that has a switch that is hard for me to remember or like it's gonna be hard for me to get over we haven't even spent that much yet and we're but we're still so over leveled but again level 12 but king level six okay then an hour and a half in carla brought us some tacos for some fuel for the rest of this insane video but we almost got our first loss here jeez 
That one was the hardest match. I'm glad we pulled it out because then we got the spell Valley and now we got $200 more of gems. Got the new cards from the arena like the Skeleton Dragon and Wizard. But we also got a ton of gold as gold is always the bottleneck here. Before a new deck, we made a spawner deck to have some fun and then upgraded every card we could and it got us all the way to level 18 already. Dude, that hit level 18 already. Oh my gosh. You level up so fast. But now using this deck was actually a struggle. Our only win condition was to just swarm the enemy with troops. So games took a long time to win, but we pushed through and got to Builders Workshops, which had a hog rider. So we got $200 more of gems and just started opening for it. Yep. Oh, they got, they got new cards. I'll get a new card every opening so far. Hang no hog though. That's that dog rider, our new win condition. Let's go. It's a good call. The Valk. We got a level 20. Not traditional hog cycle, but we can still kind of tank Valkyrie with the hog, so. Boom. Oh, I wish I had my zap right now. Whoever that hog is, is going off, man. Come on. Getting a win before time runs up, that is unheard of. Such a breath of fresh air, let's go. Now using the hog was great. We got the 16 under trophies fast, which is Pekka's Playhouse, and we still have not lost a single game this video, so that's good news. But the better news was we could unlock the Pekka and finally epics. So we got $200 more of gems and opened a ton more chests. Give me that. Skeleton Army, God Barrel, cards, Pekka. These are my first epic cards, by the way. Feels so good. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So pumped for that, man. We got to use all the epics we just got. The first time having them. After the upgrades, we hit level 24 already, bringing our King Tower all the way to level 9. But we also have a level 12 P.E.K.K.A. and Witch, and it was just not fair. Dude, the level 10 Witch is just ridiculous. Not to mention level 12 P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> like, the level 12 P.E.K.K.A. That's not even, that's not even fair. The power of money. Now we're getting these quick wins. Let's go. The power of money showed here as it was just one push win after one push win. And we quickly hit Royal Arena at 2000 trophies and i was so hyped the royal arena giving us both princess so here we got 300 more of gems bring our total spent to a thousand and five dollars already they'll use that code bt1 and then we started opening the first prince guys we have the princess all right hit 25 we are halfway there and this is the deck that we're rocking with the double princes with the barrel let's go all right dark prince in there for the splash regular play prince for the damage heck is just there i think the reason why i like the prince so much is just so satisfying when he connects dude but he's gonna connect here too Bam. This is going to be fun pushing these next few trophies. We easily hit the next three in a frozen peak, but since Pekka Double Prince is my all-time favorite deck, I made a deal with chat that I could keep using it until we lost. Chat, you agree that we're playing this deck until we get a loss? Let's hope it's not for a very long time. Let's go. But remember, we still haven't lost a single game yet, so that was a good bet by me. But 20 minutes later, we got a terrible matchup. Oh, Lava Hound flexing on me, dude. And he's got the balloon. This is a full on Lava Hound deck, man. That's a fireball right now. Jeez, man. Show me that freeze. I'll cry. We have hope. He did mess up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Keep pressing him. The princes, bro. Keep the offensive. We we're so close to losing that game. Oh my gosh, Lava Loon, bro. Now after that, we hit Jungle Arena and now we were 101-0. No losses yet. There, someone wants to see my three crowns and wins. There you go. We are 100-0. But unfortunately, we jinxed ourselves here. Literally the next game, this happened. Dude, everyone, this is a coming down to the nitty gritty here. I have to let that Prince go. No! Our first loss. Our flower prince was gonna get there. 101 and one. Since we were so close, we just finished pushing Hog Mountain. We were happy we were in a better arena so we could get more value with our gems as you get more cards from the chest the higher arenas you go. So we got $300 more of gems and started opening for the new cards, which had a golem. 
Oh, we got it. You see, yeah, we got the golem. Now here we started spam opening lightning chests as I actually gave more rares and gold than king's chest, which would help us get our lower level rarity cards up faster for more XP. And then we upgraded everything, which got us to level 29. We made a new golem Ebarb rush deck that did well, and we rushed our way to 3,400 trophies. And we could now finally unlock finally legendaries. Supercell, please change that. And we saved up a lot of chests for this moment. So we've actually been saving up our pass royale for this moment. Perfect timing. Look at all this. Let's get it. This is to try and get a legendary. See, yeah, I don't think we're going to get a legendary. I'm not feeling it anymore. Yes, we did actually. Let's go. It's the minor, but I don't care. We got one. The rest of the past, we got two legendary wild cards, which is cool, but we also saved up all our level up chests. Can we get more legendaries? We'll see. I doubt it. Wild card. We'll take it. All those chests. That's all they got me. First legendary's king chest. It's going to be wild card. More gems that were left over. Ooh, we'll take that. All right, legendary coming my way. Give me Mega Knight. Oh, these are both good options. I want both of them. Now that we have the Legendary's King chest, we got $200 more of gems and started blasting opening up chests and got all the legendaries that we could except the log. And we wanted to use an all legendary deck. For later in Electro Valley, you get three legendary chests for free. So we just treated the zap as the log for now and just started grinding. And this deck was actually really good. And to be fair, the eight cards that they gave for this arena to funny, finally start getting legendaries actually make a pretty okay deck. So it's pretty solid. This dude might be a GG. It is. Let's go. The power of all legendaries. After a few games, we got to the first legendary chest, and this happened. First legendary's chest. Give me the log. Yes! Let's go, man. That's called clutching up. So we, of course, added the log to the deck and got to Spooky Town, where we could unlock the new OP Phoenix card. We got $200 more of gems, but sadly didn't pull it. However, we got the Graveyard and Royal Ghosts. We added those to our deck and then played some more games. And then we got this crazy legendary pull. Phoenix? Hey, we have we don't have the Ice Wizard yet, so that's cool. And then our luck continued. We got a Mega Lightning Chest, too. Let's open this right now. See if we can get the Phoenix. It's Mega Knight. I would like the Phoenix, but we'll take it. Oh, we can strike it? Phoenix, come on. Phoenix. Bro, give me the runaround. Oh my god. Yes, the last strike. We get two of them. Let's go, man. So we for sure added that Phoenix to our deck right away, then upgraded a bit and went back to pushing. My first time using the Phoenix. Let's see if it pairs well with the graveyard. Because I'm like, what if it comes back? You know, it's gonna drop the egg, maybe tank for us, but maybe come back. It's coming back. Oh, let's go. That's crazy. Phoenix is crazy, dude. I need to upgrade it more. After grinding a bit more, we got another gold chest legendary, which was cool. We also got to the next arena at 4,600 trophies, but still had a long way to go to level 50. So this time we bought $800 more of gems, already spending $2,500 in total. And our first order of business was to get a ton more gold. After we did some upgrades, we ended up hitting level 34, but we really realized you needed a ton more XP to level up now. We needed a ton more gems, so we got $1,000 more of gems, bring our total to $3,500 spent, and started opening, which allowed us to max the Phoenix. Pokebooks the Phoenix. Maxing the Phoenix. Then we also did a mass upgrade spree, which got us all the way to level 39. We also saw some okay offers in the shop and bought those and used the gold coin to get the max Mega Knight. Then we paused our gemming for a bit, made a new Phoenix Mega Knight deck with the new card, and started our push to 5,000. All right, new deck, all legendaries. Our tower is level 13, which is not bad. Along with the bandit graveyard. Come on. It's not great that all of my legendaries are not maxed. Dang, that hurt, dude. Mirrored the barbs. Hook the tower, though. Two phoenixes on that tower. Come on. The revive phoenix. Let's go. Dude, that guy had all max cards, basically. And we don't. So we got to switch up our strategy, probably. Now, that game made me realize we just can't use legendaries. We needed to use our highest level cards. So we swapped them in. And shortly after, we were on our last game away from 5,000 trophies. Dude, my Mega Knight is just going off. He's hopping around. Look at this. My Phoenix is gonna get revived, bro. Hello! Wow, that is so crazy. Here's the old graveyard in the balloon. 
Phoenix still OP. Finally, 5,000 trophies. The last big batch of cards. Now we just need levels. Now here is where we notice two things. One, it is incredibly hard to level up now, so we'll need to spend a ton more. And our rares were still very under level compared to everything. So we got $1,000 more of gems again and spent 30 minutes just gemming lightning chest. And here is where I also started to get super tired because we've been playing for so long, but we kept on going and hit level 40 and then we got a $50 gold offer but then that only got us to level 41 and after all of that we still had nine levels to go to get to 50 so we decided to max out our credit card which allowed us to spend $1,400 more on gems bringing our total to $6,007 spent please use code bt1 and show some love to that video sponsor so i don't go broke and after opening and gemming a lot more chests and upgrading a bit we finally hit level 42 all right guys we're still going 13 hours i have pretty high card levels i am not even even close to level 50. We're gonna get more gems and gold to level 43. Gold is the issue right now. Playing card levels. But man, guys, we just hit level 43. We have already spent over $1,200 that it took to max out a previous Clash Royale account. We did this last time going from level one to level 14 and it took $5,000 in only 10 hours. So going to level 50 would cost around probably 10 grand. And I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be slightly higher because yes there's more levels but the progression to get to level 50 is insane because we just got our king tower level 14 at level 43 so basically this is like the old level 14 now so these are all additional levels they added which maybe they will add new content in in the future but for right now i cannot justify just getting to level 50 for four thousand more dollars and it doesn't change any other content that i get in clash royale just yet so we failed this challenge we spent way more than i thought i would a lot more time is well this is the deck we ended off with though at least we got a couple max cards thank you guys for watching use code bt1 so i don't go broke goodbye